there's an ear you can fill, I won't judge. I'm no judge. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. And hello and welcome if you are new to our soul family, our soul tribe. I'm very happy you're here. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Hello. Welcome back and welcome again if you're new here to the Tarot Closet. And welcome to your December 2022 Love Messages reading. This is a no contact and or in separation reading. We're going to begin with Tarot. I do have a lot around me as always. Oracle, angel cards, affirmation cards, Len Orman flashcards. Yeah. And of course, the Tarot Closet channeled love messages and channeled song messages, messages from their higher self. However, today everything is shuffled in around me and I'm just going to kind of reach around <laughs> when and if I feel like bringing something in. Cancer, before we do, I want to remind you that I'm going to be announcing the winner of November's tarot deck giveaway, Grim Alkin's Curious Cats Tarot. So make sure you are watching the community tab this weekend. Um, after a couple of days, if I have not heard from the winner, I'm just going to go down the line. For December, I'm giving away Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. If you would like to be entered, please watch, like, and share the reading. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your notifications on. And please comment down below and include that you're entering in this month's giveaway. Okay, beautiful Cancer. All the links are below for playlists. Also a link to my new merchandise store. By the way, thank you for, yeah, for those of you that have, I want to show you what just appeared here, that have already done some shopping. I really appreciate it. If there's anything that you want to see, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is in the description as well as the channel. If you enjoyed the intro music today, that is my music and you are more than welcome to, yeah, if you want to hear more, go check it out and get to know me better. My link for my website is below, christineledoux.com. Also down there is a link to the decks that I am using today. Lastly, we have a new Facebook group, a new private group. If you want to go over there and join, I would love to see you there. There's a lot more one-on-one -on -one contact. And I've also been opening up private readings. Not so many, but I am opening up some. And when I do have space, I'm announcing it there in the group. So if you're interested in private readings, feel free to go over there and join us. Okay, Cancer, I wanted to show you what just revealed itself in the cut deck. It is the King of Swords, Gemini and Mercury energy. Mercury, guys, the planet of communication, the planet of the mind. Somebody here thinking a lot about you, Cancer. Not surprising, is it? Mercury energy can be telling us that somebody might be, well, somebody might be reading a message and somebody might be writing a message. So interesting. Let's see if this is going to come back. Also revealing itself is the devil card, guys. Yeah, Capricorn energy and in particular Saturn. What is that telling us? Yeah, that there are some obstacles. So this is not surprising. There's also some karmic energy here in the reading today. I feel that you and your person in this energy right now today are feeling a pull to each other. Somebody may have been writing messages and not sending them. Can also be that you've you've seen some messages or even yourself have sent them and unsent them. There's also a no, that's too many. There's also a really strong energy, the page of swords. Yeah, I feel like at the moment. You're drawn to each other, your energies, you're feeling a really strong pull and it's bringing up a lot of emotional stuff. And I want to tell you that, don't worry about that. It is really the time that we're in right now. We're, well, we're under the Sagittarius sun, as you know, and we're right at the holidays. So this is a time when emotions do tend to come up. But what's really happening here is that total lunar eclipse that we had on, I'm going to show you what's here, the total lunar eclipse that we had on November 8th, that energy is ongoing for around three months after the event. That puts us around early February. Really deeply transformative 
times, you guys. Just abrupt, sudden changes, a culmination of emotional cycles that have run their course. It's emotions and attachments that aren't serving us. So whether it's attachments to people, look at that devil card, interesting. Attachments to things, to thoughts, to emotions, whatever. It's a very emotional time and a lot of secrets come out <laughs> in this time with the with the lunar eclipse energy that we're going to be feeling through February. Also truth, so it can be between you and your person, but also with you. And it's a really good time to, I want to say, get into these, yeah, kind of cleansing emotional waters and set your intention for renewal. And look what just revealed itself. Cancer, this is your energy the high priestess. And of course, this is also the divine feminine energy. So it's clear that you're connected, but we're also seeing here that there is, you're not talking right now. For some of you, this can simply mean you're taking space from somebody. For others, this no contact situation goes a lot further than that. Either way, there's some decision going on here. I feel like this is you about your journey, Cancer. It's quite strong, actually, and yeah, this is this is just what we know, that you need to trust yourself and your intuition, but about what? It's about this journey, and it's your connection, guys, and it's no accident that we're seeing the High Priestess, because the High Priestess can also be about some secrets or some connections that are, I want to say, I don't know about mysterious so much as, yeah, kind of at a standstill. And as I said, under this total lunar eclipse energy that we're still feeling, it is about revealing things, revealing secrets, revealing truths, exposing emotions, or letting them just <laughs> go everywhere and deal with them. Okay, guys, so let's see if, if she is going to come back here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. These just got knocked off, okay. Can you please show our Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs what they need to see? Maybe they already know and it's buried deep down. Maybe they don't and they need some clarity or some new insight. We welcome all messages. Please show us the cards, Aho. There's an extra card here, guys. The overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. Mars in Capricorn energy. It's messy. <laughs> I'll clean it, I promise. Don't worry. What's going on in the partnership placement? Wow. Wow, look, right off the bat. It's the Two of Cups. This is Venus and you, Cancer. Venus and Cancer. Oh, Wow, guys. Yeah, this is, well, we know what Venus is. Venus is the planet of love. Don't worry, I will clean this mess. <laughs> oh, somebody's really thinking about, thinking about you, Cancer, your person. It's very clear that for many of you, this is a twin flame journey. And for those of you not on a twin flame journey, don't worry. This is not a twin flame reading, but I always bring in the energy. Or maybe you don't know, but your person is a soulmate. I'll tell you that. One twin flame, many soulmates in the world, romantic or otherwise. Is there a decision going on here? Possibly. But we also see, Cancer, that your person is not acting, I want to say. And this is kind of the opposite of that. That's the Magician card, Gemini, Virgo, Mercury energy also coming through. What is Mercury energy? It's the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. And this is the Magician, as above, so below. Now, here's what's really interesting. This is kind of telling us that, yeah, that this connection is coming back up, like it's sort of sparking. It's sparking, guys. But, Cancer, I want you to know, it can also be here that there's somebody in your life that you might be getting closer to, and it can't even be for some of you that this is somebody new completely. I know it's not going to be for everyone, but I got to tell you, for those of you looking, or maybe it's this person is already in your life, that energy also comes through there. 
whether it is your twin flame and you don't know or a soulmate. That is not for everybody because it's also really clear here that your person is here. We are seeing the three of pentacles and this is Mars and Capricorn energy. And this is also, this is your overall energy for your love reading today. This is somebody wanting, I want to say, to do, yeah, to come together, Cancer, and put in what needs to be put into a pentacle. What is a pentacle? It's a commitment. But there's a lot, and it's about relationships. But there's a lot of practicalities in, in, a, in a pentacle and a commitment. Emotional, physical, spiritual, mental. Are we available? Are we in the same area? Are we emotionally available? There's a lot that's going into it. And we can see with that three here that divine timing plays a really big part in this connection and that there can be a third party. So we will see. I want to tell you guys Saturn energy coming through and that can be that there, somebody is in a karmic situation. Somebody can also be in a situation with a soulmate, guys, with a life partner, okay, already here. The Page of Pentacles in your partnership placement and the Six of Wands. This is Taurus and Venus. So this is really interesting because what is coming through here for you already, Cancer, is that your person is thinking about you now. The energy is really strong. Look, they're riding their white horse. This is the Six of Wands. It's Jupiter. And Leo, and what is Jupiter? Well, it's somebody still having some hope, being optimistic that this can go somewhere eventually. But there's also possibly some influence in their life that can be coming through in the Three of Pentacles. When I talk about third parties, I want to be clear that, yeah, it can be a romantic interest to third party. But that can also be telling us that there is, that the practicalities there are that third party, whether it's long distance, somebody's emotionally not available, whatever that is. And it can't even be representing more than one person. What is that? What are the blocks? What are the obstacles? What are the things not lining up is what I want to tell you in that third party. Here, we see your person holding on to you, holding on to this idea that there will be a reunion or can there be wishing for when wearing it on top of it, passionate, moving forward, riding a white horse, emotional, wanting, pushing through the obstacles and then it's poof, it's not moving anymore. Look, the horse is afraid. So somebody here has some fear about moving forward or quite simply is not able to. And look, we see that there are other people and or obstacles. They're here. They're here in your person. Your energy is, look at this. This is really goosebumpy, you guys. They're catty corner. It's the two of cups. It's the six of wands. The wands are the energy of love. It's the idea. It's the passion and the fire. Here we see the cup. We see them taking a foot back. They say in Ireland, you vote with your feet. And somebody here has a foot back and that really does line up with this energy that I'm feeling today. And that's because there is a third party. And again, that third party can be, can be a romantic interest. It can be a person. Yeah. The main thing is, is here in the three of pentacles is that it's a commitment. That third party is whatever that's going on in your person's life, that it's a, it's a commitment for your person that is, yeah, not movable right now. That's what I want to say to you. So yeah, that can be another person romantically, but it can also be family, family of origin. It can be their work, whatever it is. But cancer, this is somebody who is going through all the motions and then the horse doesn't move. Some emotional blocks, some obstacles that aren't able to be moved. It's, do you know what this reminds me of? It's kind of like somebody sitting in traffic, you know, and the horse traffic. <laughs> it's kind of like, are they going to turn around and give up? Or are they just going to stay here and stay here? This page energy, by the way, 
can be telling us that somebody is being patient. I think you've been waiting, but this is also a really divinely wah, guided connection. I'm feeling the two of cups in, in a really deep way. And this is somebody here also that, yeah, as above, so below, has a lot of thoughts about it. Sorry guys, the camera dies at the most inopportune times. <laughs> But we also see in the Three of Pentacles that, yeah, that third party, what is that? There, it, and, it's, and it's not just coming from your person. It's coming from you too, Cancer. And that can be, yeah, whatever it is. It can be vice versa here, guys. The point is, is this has been a quiet connection. And I feel things bubbling up right now. And it, part of that is because your person keeps hopping on this horse or maybe they just keep turning it around and then coming back in line. Being patient, also wondering, will I ever, will I be able to move forward? There's a lot of Neptune energy, a lot of kind of dreamy energy, I want to say. And again, that Jupiter energy is really strong of wanting to offer more, wanting to go in a particular yeah, to grow the pentacle, guys. Holding it up, lovingly look, looking at it. But blocked, emotionally, yes. And obstacles, yes. What are, what, what is that, what is that third commitment here that is keeping somebody, your person? The Empress card coming down right below the Three of Pentacles. This was the extra card. I want to tell you something. This is all, oh, wow, yeah. This can be about somebody being, yeah, more emotionally available than they were. Opening up here, guys. This is connected to the fifth chakra and somebody speaking their truth. And did we already talk about it? I don't know if we did, but I'm going to talk about it more as I turn the rest of your cards over. Is the total lunar eclipse energy from November 8th, that event, the, the energy is ongoing for around three months. And that puts us into February, early February. Oh, wow, guys, look. Yeah, and it's a really deeply transformative time. It's change, guys. It's an emotional journey. It really is like, instead of fasten your seatbelt, <laughs> I want to say get your floaty. And that's what I see coming here. Look. Your person is feeling really emotional, whether you, whether they open up to you or not, or who exactly your person's opening up to. First of all, you are. I feel like you're opening up here in this time. Cancer, you're going through a uh, transformation for sure. But your person is also emotionally beginning to open, I want to say. Are they speaking truth to somebody else? Are they going to speak the truth to you? Look, it's right next to the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. And this can be just what you think. It can also be new love. Look, we see that also in the full card, guys. This can be about, this isn't surprising at all, Cancer, but this is you being people kind of, kind of like the Pied Piper. <laughs> You've got a lot of suitors on your tail, I feel. You might not even realize it. You're attracting love right now, Cancer. You're attracting, you're attracting people. That's what I want to say. You're attracting people. So yeah, it still stands very true that for some of you, there's a new person coming in, okay? But I also want to tell you that your person is feeling really emotional about you now and maybe coming out of the blue here. I don't feel that they're coming here with the pentacle and saying... Here, on one hand, we see them in the Page of Pentacles possibly coming with the paradigm shift saying, yeah, we could have come at this in a whole different way. I think they're thinking a lot about it. I don't think that they're able to offer that from what I can feel in the energy that's coming through, but they're thinking a lot about it. And why? Because it's really strong for me. It's a minor arcana. It's not the point. It's really strong that your person is, yeah, has this commitment that they're afraid to leave. There's a commitment here. Look at this, guys. It's the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. It's emotional. These obstacles, your person, it's coming undone right now for them. They're thinking a lot about this. This archway, which is going into these new beginnings, it's frozen over here. 
and it's quiet. We know that. We don't even need this to see the snow for that to know that. Can it be that somebody is going to come here with something to say emotionally? Yeah, because the Empress card, I feel, is your person emotionally, yeah, emotionally opening up here, wanting to speak the truth. I'm hoping that that's for you, but I want to say something to you, Cancer. This is not a singles reading, but for those of you that are looking or maybe you've started dating, that's also coming through with the Empress. And the Ace of Pentacles can be somebody new coming in. <laughs> and yeah, the Page of Pentacles here, the Magician card is, yeah, just maybe somebody even coming out of nowhere that you weren't expecting. Your person's here, don't get me wrong. You're on their mind. And I think that they have been, if you are open, if you're connected on social media, there, there's some accidental booping going on, on posts, maybe some unsent messages, messages maybe that they're writing and not sending. You're, they're emotionally, how they feel about you is coming up in a really strong way. It's the king of wands and look where it is. It's in the naughty corner. King of Wands is Aries energy. This is somebody who, look, they're holding on to a wand who would go after what they want here. Going for it, but look what is right below it. What I saw coming, and it did come. It's the Two of Pentacles. It's Capricorn, Saturn energy. And this is somebody who, yeah, that third commitment that we talked about here, the third party, what is that? Person, a job, a whole life, other people. We see it here. We see the obstacles. We see them here as well. And that's where it is here. It's, it's, yeah. And for some of you, this is a twin flame journey. We already talked about it and it's another validation. We see the infinity symbol here. That's not surprising, but that's also forever love if you're not on a twin flame journey. And that's also an eight. And around eight, eight is an action number. It's accomplishing something. It's moving forward. It's also a number with a lot of Gaia energy. And you're, I, I feel that your person, on one hand, they're here, look, the king of wands, wanting so desperately to come. Look at this fool card, guys. This is a hero's journey. All right, Aquarius energy, also Uranus energy. What is Uranus energy? Uranus energy is a really strong energy of change. It's putting your intentions and the Uranus energy is your, yeah, it can be chaotic and that's also connecting to the total lunar eclipse energy, I just have to tell you. And that's setting your intentions. And then this <laughs> is making it happen. So what, what, somebody has been manifesting, which also, excuse me, comes through not, not in the two of pentacles, but in that eight, that's also a number of manifesting of coming over here and making those visions a reality. So it's, we see this and we go, all right, it's moving. Yeah, they're coming here. We see their foot go back and it's catty corner here with the six of wands. And we see that the obstacles are, the horse isn't moving. So are they going to get off the horse and just take their wand with their laurel wreath, their reunion wreath and wearing it and come? I don't know about physically, but maybe in a message. I'm going to get some clarification, guys. I, yeah, because we see in the Empress card, your person's emotions for you are kind of bubbling up. They're thinking a lot about it. Also, by the way, this Ace of Pentacles um, in some strange way is also connecting here with the Two of Pentacles that we saw coming. And that's your person. Yeah, they're not able to make a decision. That's what I want to say to you. That's your person stuck here. And stuck, what that's going to mean something different. But I feel very much that... Yeah, your person has another commitment in their life that they're afraid to leave. Could they just get off this horse and come right over? And also, it's the Empress card. The Empress can start anything. New beginnings, guys. There's the three again, too. Look at this. The divine, divine timing. Cancer. Cancer. 
Yeah, the empress can. Your person is thinking a lot about it. Are they going to get off the horse and come? I don't feel like they're coming off the horse to make an offer so much as maybe there's a message coming in. Maybe that there's an emotional release coming. Are you going to be a part of it? Your person thinks a lot about it. The King of Wands is just staring the fool down. New beginning, new beginning. Wanting to manifest this in, wanting to come here with this Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a little bit more not really sure. It can be your person's younger, immature, not the point. It's really more about the energy of not really being sure how to come, how to get through these obstacles and how how to have this Empress energy. But emotionally, yeah, your person, I feel, wants to speak the truth here. And the sparks are coming off the Two of Cups today. My gosh, you're really on your person's mind, guys. And yeah, the Twin Flame energy is here. The Soulmate energy is here. I want to get some clarity, but before I do, this was revealing itself. It's the Four of Wands, Venus, and Aries energy. Venus, it's the planet of love. We know that. And this is the Four of Wands. So can it be for some of you that you might be seeing your person at a particular event? Celebration, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's not going to be for everybody, but yes. But I want to tell you, this can also be telling us that somebody is coming in, a soulmate. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Reunion energy here, too. Do I feel there's going to be a reunion? Your person wants to see you or at least talk to you. That's just really clear. They think about being able to offer you this pentacle, but that pentacle, I got to tell you, it's here and it's also here. That is not an available pentacle. Cancer. They're thinking about it, but four is a, okay, look what just revealed itself. It's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. I want to tell you something. I, do I read reversals? Yeah, I do. Do I read them on YouTube? Not really. And really not even in, in my practice. Because if a card, if an energy is going to come in reverse, it will come in reverse to me. And that's also, by the way, the energy that's coming through with the Two of Pentacles. And why when I'm talking to you about it, it's about your person being stuck and indecisive. The hangman energy is coming in. <laughs> because that's how that's coming to me. And this is very clearly... The Knight of Pentacles wanting to stay here in reverse. And it's the opposite of your person being able to do the work that it requires to get through the obstacles here, guys. It's the Knight of Pentacles. It's someone you can count on. It's somebody that is going to, yeah, give you that outcome. It's the Sun in Virgo here, guys. It's the Knight of Pentacles. And it's in reverse. And we see that. So, it's clear that your person's thinking about it. They want it. But we also see here with the four of wands, the energy of love, the four areas of support and stability. What are they? Mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical. We talked about this. It's not, it's, that's, commitments are, there's a lot involved. Are you free? Are you available? Not just physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Are you both lining up? Are you balancing out in those four areas of stability? No. Is it thought about? Yeah. For some of you, there's a really deep kind of feeling like it's your person no matter what. Almost like a spiritual marriage. That's not for everyone, but boy, I'll tell you, your person's thinking about it, but it's really clear here now. This wanted to be in reverse and to be seen this way. And this is your person not able to do that. Is there humility around this apologetic energy? There really is, guys. Do they feel bad? Yeah. That this harness is unfastened. And look, it's upside down. So they weren't putting in the work before anyway, especially before you separated. It was not a balance is what I want to tell you. And this upside down is the pentacle's going to drop. There's that pentacle again because they can't offer it partnership placement wanting to this is a dreamy energy for me guys i have to tell you and the full card 
is attached to Uranus energy. It's a little bit of chaotic energy. And yeah, somebody wanting this freedom and, and there's a rebellious energy that comes through here, you know, and I just don't think your person has it. This pentacle's dropping. This harness is coming off. There's no longer anywhere for anyone to sit on this horse. I feel like they come in and out and, and jump on this six of wands and come off it. I don't think they're moving the horse around and going and coming back and waiting in the <laughs> in the traffic jam, you know, until the horse is not afraid anymore. I feel like they leave it there, and that is also really, who. Yeah, guys, gosh, this is emotional. That's your person leaving it and not wanting to let you go, Cancer. They have not let you go. There's so much dreamy energy here. It's ridiculous. And Cancer, I'm going to say it again, and then we're going to move on. And I'm going to tell you what these song messages were that came early, and it's probably where we're going to stop. But we will do some more call and some love messages because there are messages from their higher self coming. This just came off the deck when I moved it. Oh my gosh, it's the Eight of Swords. It's Jupiter and Gemini. It's somebody who is stuck. Yeah, as I said, seeing and the energy coming through of the Two of Pentacles being in reverse, not able to make a decision. And it's them, but it's also a lot of, yeah, it's the st stuff in their life here. But this is also them for sure, because they go from here to here. They go from the Eight of Swords and not being able to, they have the blindfold on, they're tied up. That's the, that fortress is the journey of love that you're on. It's very emotional. Then they kick their way out, but they don't go up there. They go and jump on this horse and they wait and look. Right now, this is strong. They're kicking out of here and jumping on the horse and trying to get through here to the Empress because the Empress is coming through today that your person wants to open up here guys and speak the truth to you but they're hold they're held back not just by attack things in their life their own stuff there's conflicting energy they're stuck okay they're afraid to change they come in and out of this look at this guys and this is what and that eight that is an action number but it's more of that opposite it, your card this was happening in the Twin Flame reading. My gosh, I can't even keep up with these messages. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Your card's kind of doing this today. It's sort of like, whoop, there goes the swords. Drop, I'm coming. Then it's like, nope, I'm back. Right now, it's an emotional release for your person. And I feel like they're like this. So there is a little bit of that chaotic Uranus energy here for sure. They want the change. And that's also the energy still that we're feeling till February of the total lunar eclipse. It's deeply transformational. It's removing some attachments and emotions that no longer serve us. It's the culmination of emotional cycles that have run their course. But your person is confused and indecisive here and jumps on, jumps off, goes in, goes out. Thinks about a lot of things here, but there's just, yeah, we know why. This card, I'm telling you, is just like the Wheel of Fortune in some weird way coming in. Spinning around here. The cycles of life. Fate. Destiny. Your destinies are intertwined, Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. But your person is... I'm going to stop. It feels invasive. I need to stop. And I want to finish bringing this message to you. This one we already know your person. We know that they're stuck. I want to finish bringing this in that some of you might have someone in your life that is going to turn into something more, okay? Or somebody coming in. If you are looking, for those of you looking, the energy here is that a potential twin flame for some of you and or soulmate is coming through, but it's intense, as above, so below, because it's also something you really want for yourself. I feel like you've been waiting for your person here, guys. Look, it's waiting and waiting, and then it's, boop, stopped. Yeah, because you're all, well, you're here. Of course you're here. This is your reading. The divine is very strong and divine timing. Yeah. Gosh, you guys, I want to read these to you. These came down... As I was shuffling decks, they came down together. 
and I'm not, I'm, this is all we're going to do for song messages today. I'm going to get into some Oracle now and, and then we're going to, yeah, do a little bit of channeled love messages. Then we're going to close your reading cancer. Remember, it can be your song, your person's song is coming down. It can be that you don't even resonate with the song <laughs> or you don't even like it. It's about the message coming through or the, the feeling behind the song, if it's an apologetic song. And it can be that things come through that I can't even, that I don't even know because it's between you, one word, location. But these wanted to be in your reading today. And I wasn't feeling channeled song messages today. Now all the stars have gone faded into cracks of dawn, and I'm still waiting here, waiting, Nora Jones. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, some of you are getting into that Empress energy too. It's the time is now, because it's also about growth and communicating, co-creating with spirit. Ooh, yeah. Didn't we see the high priestess come through, guys? Yeah, and starting something new for yourself. I know it's not everyone, and I do have to tell you, it's not that there's not love here. I feel it. I just feel your person really stuck. And you tired of waiting. The Lumineers, nobody knows. Love is deep as the road is long and moves my feet to carry on. It beats my heart when you are gone. That's for you, I feel, guys. But it's coming in here also from your person. I don't want to be just a memory. Always remember us this way, Lady Gaga. Cancer, let's get an oracle card for you. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards. Aho. Poinsettia. Cast the shadows. Scream silence at them, dear witch. What lurks inside transforms into the most beautiful, beautiful of beauty. I love that for you. Look, it's the four candles, the light coming in, guys. Boy, I really like that. And that's also the four areas of support and stability for you. Mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional. I do feel here for a lot of you, someone is already even around or they're coming in. I know not everybody here is looking. Some of you are, that's also clear, some of you are with partners. I have to bring it through. I know it's not the most popular thing to bring through, but that's how it is. This is a nine and that's co connecting us to Mars. And it's about, yeah, Aries and Scorpio coming in there, guys, beginning and the end. It's the planet of action and passion and having courage and drive despite the conflict is what is coming through for you. And that's also you here. Your energy is popping in. You're popping in there and going, yep, I'm going to get on that king of wands. I'm going to drive over here. I'm going to get the fool. Where else am I going to go? I'm going to get that pentacle. I want that. <laughs> I'm going to get everything here. Actually, I'm going to drive around and collect what I need. I'm going to take what I need and let go of the rest. I'm going to take what is for me. What is for me is for me. What is meant to be will be cancer. I'm going to collect what is meant for me and I'm going to drive over here and definitely grab the Empress and we're going to go to the magician and we're going to say, hey, whip us up some alchemy, make some magic, alchemize this fear also that I have and this stuckness that I'm also feeling at times. And some of the things that have been brought up in my, my connection or lack thereof. And help me to alchemize them and to manifest what I want and what I deserve. A connection with the love and the friendship and the clarity. And the practicalities all lining up here. This is coming in. We're going to look at it. This beginning coming from the end, guys. Into the most what lurks inside transforms into the most beautiful of beauty. I'm going to collect what is for you. Leave the rest, but make sure you bring your friend, the Empress. And come in there and ask the magician to whip up a potion for you. Yeah, with everything. The passion, the clarity, all the practicalities lining up emotionally, physically, spent, mentally, spiritually available, connected. 
same place physically when that yeah, it's, that's coming in again because for some of you that is a, there's an energy with your person that maybe it's long distance and that is something as well. Anyway, whether you're looking for love or not, take what you need, guys, and leave the rest. And getting here in the Magician card as below, excuse me, as above, so below. Turn your visions into reality. Take that inspired action with the King of Wands. Cancer, your reading went somewhere else, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, I have such a hard time with cards. I hate covering them. I'm sitting here trying to play the card game, and it's like, no, it has to stop. This also came. Then I think we're going to go into some, yeah, some love messages, guys, and then we're closing the reading because I just feel, yeah, like it needs to end now. Wise men. If it wasn't for the familiar songs that echo through my spine, I would have lost what is lost and never found my purpose. Guys, I love this for you. What's interesting is I felt the hangman energy coming in and that really is a, yeah, a period of uncertainty and kind of feeling indecisive and not doing what you maybe really know you need to do or want to do. It's a paradigm shift. And I just feel that for you. It's do different things, get different results. Do you know what I mean? You do the same things, you get the same results. The wise man, six, also connecting us to Venus, the planet of love, relationships, planet of beauty, harmony, and attraction, by the way. And you're, yeah, you're kind of like the Pied Piper of suitors. <laughs> so definitely take the fool card with you when you go there on your on your spiritual road trip to the magician, okay? Don't forget the fool. I really love this for you. I do. Let's get your more love messages and then we're going to get a fairy stone and close your reading cancer. What do you want to say to your person? Messages from their higher self. I write messages that I never send. Yeah, that came through real early today. And it's, yeah, I feel like this is a super current energy. November, yeah, February. It's part of that total lunar eclipse energy. It's the emotional energy. Your person here is just, yeah, they're wanting to speak the truth. Oh boy. And they're also, I feel like they're talking to other people about it. All right, but I'm going to stop because that's irrelevant. Thinking of you brings me peace. That was weird. There were some cards that had turned over. Look. Three. It makes me sad when I read our messages of happier times. Okay. So I'm really itchy eyes, you guys. Interesting. I see. Yeah, your person is seeing things differently. Feeling things differently. It's... It's... Whoo. And makes me sad when I read our messages of happier times. As we talked about earlier on, they're they're in that. Somebody here, and this can also be you, by the way, it can even be both of you, is in this space right now, just kind of, yeah, going into social media messages, thinking about it, but physical, you know, whether it's on the phone or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that's strong. When you feel my energy, it's because I'm thinking of you. <laughs> Here it is. Did you notice I sent a message? Okay. Yeah, a lot of you noticed. This could also have been you. And it can still be happening, guys. Past, current, future energies here. There goes the camera again. You have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will. The future is not fixed. Energies, outcomes can, will, and do change. Is this a guarantee that there's going to be messages coming in? No, of course not. It's strong. And it's also strong that it's been recently happening to you in this connection. But the future is not fixed. Okay. Um, these just fell off. And there's one here that's on its own that's not part of these three. And then we're going to look at it. And then we're going to get a fairy stone and close your reading. 
we have a deep soul connection. Yeah, we know that. It's nothing we don't know, but I love that that came down for you. It hurts my heart that we can't be together. Cancer. It's this emotion. Your person, I feel like, has been repressing a lot. Who? Kind of cracking open here. I saw someone that looked like you, and it felt like you were here. I'm making a mess. <laughs> All right, this is the last message. Conversations with you with a highlight of my day. The mercury energy in your reading today is off the charts. They're in their head. They're stuck in their head. They're sending messages, unsending messages, writing messages that they're not sending, reading things, reading old messages, reading things on social media. It's like, oh, thinking about these conversations, looking at some of them. It's your energy's there. It's an emotional time right now. I hope that you get that that is what you want, that you receive a message. You just take care of yourself, okay? Trust yourself. Let your intuition guide you, your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels, guys. And I'm reading for you, so. <laughs> okay, and remember, for some of you, there's a super strong energy of, of either a friend turning into something more or a stranger kind of coming out of nowhere. We're in the sun in Sagittarius. We're at the holidays. It's the time to go and connect with people. So if you're looking, guys, or you're getting ready to go to parties or whatever, go, okay? Make sure you go. That fell. I'm not letting you fall. Yeah. Woo. I just got goosebumps. Look, it's a clover. And I got to tell you, this is serendipity. This is spirit sending love your way. And it's the heart chakra. Love, love you guys. Are you reconnecting with a partner? Are you looking for love? Some of you are saying, yeah, but it's not my person. Forget it. I'm out. No, guys, we know where your person is here. It's just... This is for you. So can it also can also be, by the way, in this Four of Wands, that Spirit is sending down somebody to help you, somebody to come into your life, a soulmate. It doesn't necessarily even mean romantic. It's love. And I see here all over in your reading that you are attracting that. We said that in the beginning, and it's still, still true now, an hour later, whatever it's been. Not just romantic suitors, just your energy guys. And if you think, no, how can that be? Yeah, it can be. It's true. You're wonderful, Cancer. You're perfect the way you are. Thank you for watching my reading today. I love you. I wish you love, light, all things good. All the links are below. You know. <laughs> you know what to do. I look forward to seeing you at your next reading. Bye.